Well, those complaints about money for the opening ceremony have come as one Olympic hopeful is auctioning himself on eBay to try to find a sponsor. James Ellington from Croydon is our second fastest 200 metre runner, but four years of injury mean he has been left behind in the race to find a financial backer who will fund his training. Here's our sports reporter, Sally Williams. If you're enjoying a little internet shopping this Christmas, then it may come as something of a shock to see this. A fit, talented young athlete auctioning himself on eBay. A little desperate it may seem, but then these are desperate times. Pretty much is desperate, yeah. I train near enough full time, but I'm not on the full time wage, so it's, it's tough. James Ellington is the second fastest sprinter in the country, eager for a place at the Olympics, and yet he's struggling to make ends meet. Injuries mean sponsorship has passed him by, and that's what he's after, worth £30,000. Why do you think it is that you haven't got the sponsorship? Um, it's to do with timing, really. Um, last year, I come up running really fast, um, got injured on my fourth race. So uh, all the sponsors, probably for the Olympics, were looking two years prior to the Olympics. But within hours today, his plan appeared to be working. What figure are you up to? How much are you selling for? Oh, at the moment, I'm up to £4,100. I've got 11 bids on. Are you happy with that? Yeah, it's going good so far. <laughs> I've got another 10 days yet, so... All right, OK, so it can build. He's also had interest through the publicity, but accepts the odd offer might not be appropriate. Yeah, I just hope no like, ladies' underwear want to sponsor me or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they do, that makes me laugh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you would stand out then, yeah. James. <laughs> Firstly, I think it's a great effort that he's taken the initiative because a lot of people sit back and they say, I've got no help, I've got no sponsorship. You know, this may or may not work, but the good thing is at least he's, he knows he's given it a go. He's got a lot of coverage because of it and, uh, you know, it may work. Whilst many athletes he's up against can train full time, James is teaching youngsters where he grew up in Lewisham to earn money for the mortgage. Many people think sports stars, they've got loads of money, great yeah. lifestyle. Explain what it's like for you. Well, I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm the average Joe. Um, I've got less money than the, the everyday person. I mean, I enjoy the sport, but it's not all the glitz and glamour that I think all the public think it is. In exchange for the 30,000, which alone won't go far, he'll wear, as we've discovered within reason, what he's told. He is an Olympic hopeful who's hoping this might just get him there. Sally Williams, London Tonight, Croydon.